Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see the next hands-on lab on architecting on AWS. So we will see uh, how to build your Amazon VPC infrastructure in this lab session. So the image that you are uh, seeing here will be the final you know, architecture for this lab environment. Uh, as an AWS uh, solution architect, it is you know important that uh, you understand the overall functionality and capabilities of the AWS and the relationship between the AWS networking components. So in this lab, uh, we'll create an Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, which is the VPC, a public and a private subnet in a single availability zone public and private routes and a NAT way, NAT gateway and a internet gateway. So these services are the foundation for the uh, networking architecture inside the AWS. So this architecture will design a uh, cover concept of infrastructure design, routing and security. So we will see some of these uh, following um, objectives in this hands-on lab like uh, creating amazon vpc and uh, creating public and uh, private subnet creating the internet gateway and configure a route table and the associate with the subnet and create the amazon ec2 elastic compute cloud uh, instance and uh, make that instance to be publicly accessible and then we'll uh, create the isolate and amazon ec2 instance in the private subnet and create an assigned security group to amazon ec2 instance and connect to the amazon ec2 instance using the session manager a capability of the AWS system manager okay so first we'll see how to create an Amazon VPC in a region so uh, with the Amazon VPC we can provision a logically isolated section of the AWS cloud uh, where we can launch the AWS resources in the virtual network uh, that we that we define actually while we create the VPC so we we have uh, you know complete control over the uh, VPC, the virtual networking environment that uh, we will be creating. That includes uh, you know selection of the own IP address ranges and uh, creation of uh, subnet and also configuration of the route table and the network gateways. So here we can also leverage the enhanced security options in the Amazon VPC that will provide more granular access to and from the Amazon EC2 instance in your virtual network. Okay, so let's get started to create the VPC. So in the AWS, uh, you know, the search bar, you can type uh, VPC. And here under these services, you can see that uh, VPC, click on that. And uh, in the left pan navigation, you can choose your VPCs. And uh, here the list of VPC will be displayed, a default, uh, you know, VPC is there here and uh, so let's click on create VPC and here the resource to create uh, so it will be VPC only and uh, the name tag which is optional so I'm just typing lab VPC and uh, here you need to provide the IPv4 CIDR block. 
so I'm just giving 10.0.0.0 slash 16 and create VPC. Okay, so here uh, you see that uh, the state is available. And uh, here we can go to the action. And edit DNS host name. So this option, you know, uh, like assign the friendly domain name system to the EC2 instance in the VPC. So here we can just uh, enable it and click on save changes. Okay, so now any EC2 instance uh, launched in this VPC will now automatically receive a DNS host name. You can also, you know, create a more meaningful DNS name. Okay, so now we have uh, successfully created our own VPC and uh, we can launch the AWS resources within this defined uh, virtual network. Okay, so next we'll create a public and a private subnet. So uh, we can, you know, create a public subnet and a private subnet uh, in the lab VPC that we just created. So to add a new subnet to our VPC, we must uh, specify the IPv4 CIDR block for the subnet, uh, you know, from the range that we have specified in the VPC. So we can also specify the availability zone in which we want to the subnet to be reside. And also, we can have uh, multiple subnet in the same availability zone. As you know, uh, a subnet is a sub range of IP addresses within the uh, network. And uh, you can launch uh, the AWS resources into the specified uh, subnet that you want to create. And uh, uh, this use of public subnet for the resources you know that will be connected to the internet and uh, the private subnet uh, you know we can you know use it for the isolated from the internet okay so now let's create the public subnet so the public subnet is for the internet facing resources so here in the left navigation pan choose the subnet and here you can choose create subnet and uh, here uh, you can see the VPC ID so we have already created the VPC which is lab VPC so any subnet uh, that we will be creating you know will have to come under this IP ranges so here under the subnet setting we need to provide the subnet name so this subnet we are creating for the public so let's name it as the public subnet and uh, here we need to specify in which availability zone we want to create and uh, let's choose the ap south one and uh, next we need to mention the ipv4 cider block so let's create a slash 24 here and create subnet And you can verify the state uh, it should display the state as available okay now we can select uh, the public subnet that we just created 
and uh, click on action and uh, edit uh, the subnet setting and here we can enable auto assign public ipv4 address so that uh, anything that we deployed uh, in this public subnet uh, will be automatically assigned with the public ip address and click on save so even though this subnet is named public subnet uh, but it is not actually it in public because uh, the public subnet uh, must be having the internet gateway and uh, you know route to the gateway so you can you know create and attach uh, the internet gateway and the route table in this you know uh, the one which we created okay so next we will create the private subnet so the private subnet is for the resource that are you know remain isolated from the internet so here you can choose a subnet and then choose the uh, vpc which is lab vpc and uh, here you can provide the subnet name private subnet and uh, choose the availability zone so I'm just selecting the first one, AP South 1A. And uh, the CIDR block, I'm going to choose slash 23, 10.0.2.0. Okay, and create subnet. Okay, and you can see that uh, the state is available. Okay, so next we'll create an internet gateway. So uh, we create an internet gateway so that uh, the internet traffic uh, which will access the public subnet to enable the access to or from the uh, internet for instance in the subnet in the VPC, we create an internet gateway and attach that to our VPC that we just created and uh, then we can add the route to the subnet the subnet route and uh, then uh, we can you know direct the internet uh, traffic to the internet gateway so this internet uh, gateway which serves you know two purposes one will be to provide a target in your VPC route table for the internet uh, routable traffic and uh, the second one would be to perform the network address translation for the instances that uh, you know have been assigned to the public IPv4 address so here in the left hand you can see that uh, internet gateways okay and uh, here we can create the internet gateway and uh, we can put the name tag just putting lab internet gateway and create internet gateway and uh, now we will attach this internet gateway to the lab VPC so here you can click on action and click on attach to VPC and here you can select the lab VPC attach internet gateway okay so here you can see the state which is attached Okay, next uh, we'll route internet traffic in the public subnet to the internet gateway. So uh, we create a route table and uh, add the uh, route to the route table so that uh, it will uh, direct the internet traffic to your internet gateway. 
and uh, associate our public subnet with your route table so here each subnet in our vpc must be you know associated with the route table so that uh, the table controls the routing for the subnet and uh, this uh, you know subnet can only be associated with one route table at a time but you know you can uh, also associate multiple subnet with the same route table so basically the route table contains a set of rules called routes that are you know used to determine where the network traffic should be directed so uh, to use the internet gateway we have to you know um, mention the subnet route table that should contain the route of uh, the internet traffic to the internet gateway so here uh, the scope to the route destination we need to explicitly mention where the traffic needs to be routed so for the uh, destination we can put uh, all zero so that uh, it will route the traffic uh, without any uh, particular scope of the network and if the subnet is associated with the route table that has the you know route to the internet gateway then it's the uh, it's known as the public subnet so here on the you know left hand side uh, you can see that uh, route tables so there is one currently default uh, route table associated uh, with our vpc and uh, this routes traffic locally only so now we create additional route table which will you know route traffic to public as well which is to the internet gateway so here we can create a route table and uh, you can enter the name we put public route table and uh, choose the vpc and create route table okay here we can see the routes and here you can you know click the edit routes and here you can add route so the destination you can put all zero and uh, target you can choose internet gateway and you can internet gateway click on save changes and next under the subnet association edit subnet association as you can see there is no subnet associated and here we will be choosing the public subnet and save association so now we have configured the route table so the uh, subnet is now public because uh, we have uh, you know attached the uh, internet gateway and the route table okay so that's it in this video and uh, we will continue the remaining in the next video thank you